Canada sending troops to Mali. Let's go to CTV's Mercedes Stevenson. Mercedes, what do we know? Marilla, we've learned that, uh, in fact, Canadian troops are heading to Mali. CTV News has confirmed that uh, with military sources. There's still a lot of uncertainty about exactly what the configuration is going to look like in terms of the number of troops or where precisely they're going to come from. An announcement is expected early next week. This is apparently in direct response to a UN request for peacekeepers. Mali is a West African country which is extraordinarily dangerous, has seen the killing of a number of peacekeepers at the hands of jihad groups in that area. Uh, Canada has been working in neighboring Niger uh, for a number of years now trying to capacity build against terrorism in Africa. But Mali has been somewhere that there's been significant concerns about. It looks like what Canada is going to be sending will be some helicopters and some support crew for that. Uh, beyond that, we're still digging, trying to find out exactly what this mission is going to look like. You'll remember that the Liberal government had been considering a peacekeeping mission in Africa. It has been long delayed any kind of an announcement or any kind of a significant number. In November, they announced their peacekeeping plan, saying that they were looking at contributing things like helicopters that they believed were unique capacity builders, unique things that Canada could offer, also lower risk than having a high number of troops on the ground in a country like Mali that can be a target. But obviously, in a country like Mali, which is extraordinarily high risk, uh, there is certainly still a risk to Canadians who are going, and experts as well as uh, those inside the military have been saying that since the Liberals first started looking at the possibility of a mission there. But again, we we are learning tonight uh, that Canadian troops are going to be headed to Mali, certainly in terms of helicopters, likely to replace the Germans who are there right now carrying out that function for the United Nations. We're going to continue to look into the story to try to get you as many details as possible, Morella, and we'll bring those to you as soon as we have them. Just one thing, Mercedes, I guess this, if this mission is very dangerous, we can expect the opposition to be vocal about it. I would expect that certainly you will hear from the opposition on this, uh, in, in particular because of the history of peacekeepers in Mali uh, and, and the danger that that particular country uh, poses to peacekeepers. There's a number of African countries with UN missions that are quite dangerous, but Mali is certainly seen as being very, very high up on that list. Large areas that are completely lawless, a, a number of jihadi groups that operate there, and a specific targeting of peacekeepers in the past. Mercedes Stevenson with that breaking news out of Ottawa. Thanks for that. You're welcome.